Good morning, my revivors. This is just a quick jump on mini vlog to talk to you and kind of share what I got going on. It is 10 o'clock in the morning and I haven't eaten. Y'all know I try to drink me some mojo. So I got that and I'm going to be making my water. But let me show you what I got going on in my kitchen Ugh. right now and what's getting ready to go on and all that good stuff. So this will be a little vlog showing you the things I tackled and got done on today. Quarantine day number. Yeah, <laughs> let me show you what I got done. So, yeah, um, it's just like little random stuff that needs to be put back in its place. Not much of nothing. So just continue watching. I hope it's just something to let you see my face, bring my face on the screen. Um, and also kind of see what a little bit of what I do when I get up on certain days of this lockdown. Oh, well, as I said, we were reading, um, and we read again last night, because it's like every other day is a game night or a reading night. So, I'm going to just straighten this up, straighten the table back up, um, put everything back where it needs to be. Dun, 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 dun. In the kitchen, I have let my mail pile up in a little mailing area. So, today I decided, decided to take all the mail out of the envelopes. I let my mail sit for literally over a week when it gets here and then I come and I'll take it out. So that's been sitting. All that mail is, is from over the last couple weeks. I literally haven't been touching it. So yeah, I'm going to kind of straighten up this little mess here, refill my water, um, put that can and recycling bin and all that good stuff, put that up. Everything you see is going to be kind of put up. Um, yeah, I'm getting ready to make some tea. So that's going to be full. I already brewed it. Um, we had barbecue chicken last night. So that's going to be um, cleaned. We had chocolate chip cookies for snack. And that was the only meal I ate. So yes, I've been doing good. I ate the meal with barbecue chicken. Um, when I did want something earlier, I just was drinking water and I had some strawberries. Um, and I have a haul that I do have to put out as well. I'm getting ready to make me some more Haitian epis. If you don't know what that is. I do cook with that and um, somebody seen an old video and asked me about it so I'm going to probably um, be preparing some more. My jar that I had broke so I'm going to be using this jar. Um, okay, I can take that off. This is how I get my candle wax out of there and y'all I use my candle wax jars for a lot. Let me show you. These two here are old candles that I use. Got some cocoa, hot cocoa, and then that one. So I try to reuse the jar, especially if they're nice and sturdy. And this particular jar was so freaking cute. It has like a galvanized top on it. This is a candle from Kohl's, I want to say. I got Naya for Christmas. So I'm going to end up using this because um, I broke my other jar. So yeah, that's the way I get my candle wax out um, easily instead of freezing it. So I'll just pour it out come back sit in there again and just continue doing that and take a, a paper towel wipe it out and then i'll um clean it really really well so i'm going to be using this for my epis and yeah so i'm gonna leave that there dishes just minor these are from hubby had chips and um i had cookies last night really had cookies just minor and I'm watering my big baby. Um, it had one leaf that I had to remove. I already removed that. But it's been doing okay. It's been doing okay. I can't complain. I know this bad boy here has been flourishing. Look at that. It has been flourishing. And I'm bottom feeding this bad boy. And uh, I fed my little one. This one here that is so freaking stubborn. I have to feed that like every two days, literally. Or it pouts and has a temper tantrum. It will be laying way down. And all you can see is soil. So I did that. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing today. I am tackling this kitchen because hubby's request last night i thought he wanted them last night but he was like no but you can do them today it's some snickerdoodle so i'm gonna be making some snickerdoodle cookies and um yeah all right guys i am getting ready to tackle this and you shall see the finished results of some nice baked cookies and everything tackled in this kitchen. I hope you guys enjoyed this little teeny, teeny, teeny mini glimpse into my morning and tackling this stuff. All right, later. So, yeah, I definitely need to clean out this bad boy because it looks a hot freaking mess, okay? So, I'm going to be cleaning this out as well. And I have some oranges that are kind of old and we're not going to eat them. So, what I like to do... 
I'm gonna peel it. Um, I think, yeah, I don't think. Mm, I'm gonna peel it and see how it looks when I peel it. But these are gonna be going down the drain to freshen the drain. That's how I freshen my drain. And also, I wanted to share with you guys this here. Okay, so the jar is completely clean and nice and shiny. Labels gone from the bottom and from the side. You ever pull those labels off and it leaves a real thin coat of stickiness? Let me tell you what I do. It's so freaking simple. I'll probably do a video outside of this so for people looking for this, they can find it when I do it again. I take a, like a little green scrubby Brillo thingy and I put a little soap on it and I just rub it off. It comes off so like with hot water. I run hot water on it, put soap on the little scrubber and then just rub it in it. When I say it comes right off, like it comes right off. That's what the label was without a problem. So yeah, just a little tip on cleaning out your jars because they're glass. You can reuse them guys. All right, y'all, let me get this kitchen clean. Definitely got to put this stuff up first before I can wash anything. All right, but guess what, guys? This is what I be talking about. I don't understand. I don't know if it's because maybe it's because we got hard water, but yeah. So this got to be wiped down, too. So let's go and clean this up. All nice and shiny. Look how nasty this thing gets. And you probably can't see it until I zoom in. Right? Yeah. Oh, could y'all see that? Y'all probably can't see all of this right here. Could y'all? This thing is really nasty, y'all. So I have to take it out, but stuff get, excuse me, y'all, hold on, let me find stuff get all contangled y'all hear me tangled into it yeah yep so it definitely needs to be clean Now that one actually was still good. This one, mm -mm, I'm just gonna throw, cut this up. I'm gonna put that in a bowl for Rizzy. Cut this up and throw this down the drain. Oh my gosh, y'all, it smells so freaking good in here. So good. And every time one of us do it, we know it's been done. As soon as you, as soon as you step in the kitchen, you smell it. I'm gonna soak my cup. 
All right, guys, so I'm getting ready to make my snickerdoodles. I made some more soapy water. That water kind of got flat. So I'm going to do that. You guys are going to see the snickerdoodles and see everything clean because I still have to clean up this. Oh, and I'm over here watching. Got my little recipe thing out. Watching Let's Stay Together on Pluto. Got my warming racks out. So yeah, guys, stay tuned. All right, so cookies are done, and I'm getting ready to throw them in the oven. Yeah, so you guys will see them. So the, why those are cooking, I'm gonna tackle this mess because it is a mess. Let me show you. Yeah, I got sugar and cinnamon there. Not really a big mess, but yeah, and clean up all the stuff I use. Wiped out my mixer, throw that little bag away, and actually put those up because those are from a little bit earlier. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys are enjoying this. You guys will see the cookies in the finished kitchen. Stay tuned. They are put away. Now let's clean this mess up. So I got one cookie sheet in there and two that need to be clean. So I'm gonna do that. My dog on TV, not TV, but my thing timed out. So yeah, guys, let me get this stuff straightened up and this will be the end. And I'm gonna show you these good, 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 tasty snickerdoodle cookies. Alright guys, so this is the end of the vlog. There are the cookies and everything is nice and clean and back where it ought to be and the sink is nice and shiny and everything is right there drying. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini clean with me vlog type of style thingy bake see what I bake type of thing. If so, then you guys make sure you thumbs up this video and I will see you guys later.